In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus sodium carbonate. When we balance net ionic equations, the first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have these two hydroxides here and only one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the NaOH. That gives me two hydroxides. They're balanced, two sodiums. I have two sodiums here. I have a barium here and here. And then I have a carbonate on each side. So we've balanced the molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. Barium hydroxide is considered to be a strong base. We're going to say that it's aqueous, AQ, and that it'll dissociate into its ions. For sodium carbonate, carbonates often aren't soluble, but sodium compounds are. So if you know your solubility rules, sodium carbonate, that's going to be soluble, AQ. Barium carbonate, however, not soluble. So we're going to write S. It's going to be a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have this precipitation taking place. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. That'll be aqueous. That'll dissolve and dissociate. Now that we have the states here, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will be the complete ionic equation. So barium's in group two. That'll be two plus, And then the hydroxide, the whole hydroxide here is one minus. So we have Ba, two plus, I won't write the states now. Let's write that at the end. And then I have the two hydroxide ions. Sodium is in group one. It has a one plus ionic charge. The whole carbonate, two minus. Good one to remember. Two sodium ions. And then we have just the one carbonate ion here. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up. So we're just going to keep this barium carbonate together as a solid. And then we said sodium positive, the hydroxide negative, two sodium ions, just like the reactants, and then two hydroxide ions, also like the reactants. So these are the products in our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I look at this in the reactants here, I have those two sodium ions, and in the products, I see it again. Those are spectator ions. Get rid of those two hydroxide ions here in the reactants and in the products. Spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus Na2CO3. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus sodium carbonate. You'll note that charge is balanced. You have a two plus, two minus. Those cancel out, give us a net charge of zero. Over here in the product, this is a neutral compound. So the charge is balanced. Count the atoms up. They're going to be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.